Today is day one of Vibe Coding a Project from scratch in one session, and today I built Build Roulette. It's this slot machine that chooses a random market, problem, user type, and tech stack, and then it uses perplexity to search the web, and then generates three different ideas that you could go build to make money right now. You can find it at build.willness.dev. It's live. So the first thing that I did was I went to Claude and I asked it to help me create a product requirements document. And then I put this into cursor and asked cursor to set up a Next.js application. This here is actually what it pumped out. It's a really bad landing page with a little bit of copy and a terrible color scheme. So when I started this project, I was actually going to have a giant roulette wheel with four subcircles. However, I tried for a while to get the randomness to work and for the web app to be able to, to detect what it landed on, and it just didn't work. I tried for a while, and then once I got it kind of working, it ended up just looking really bad. Like the text would be upside down sometimes, and there wasn't really like an easy way to fix it. So I ended up moving to a slot machine style design instead. So I worked on that for a while, and here's what the next iteration looked like. Things I focused on were the staggered finishes in each column and then the results card below that showed what the slot machine actually landed on. So what I did next is I actually took a screenshot of my app, threw it into Claude and said, hey, give me feedback on the design. Took that feedback, put it into Claude code, and now we have this iteration that looks a little bit better. Next, I focused on taking what the user spun and turning it into real business ideas. I ended up finding that if I use perplexity instead of just OpenAI or Claude, the business ideas would be a little bit more informed because perplexity would do some web search in addition to the LLM generation. And we end up with something like this. I proceeded to waste probably like an hour and a half trying to stream the responses to the front end because I wanted a, a really reactive and seamless experience. And it never worked, and so I just replaced it with this fake loading bar that makes it a little bit more tolerable for the user to wait. So I did a bunch more work on this project, and here is the final result. You have a settings menu where you can put your API key, choose what model you wanna use, enable, disable things in the wheel, and then you can mess with the sound settings that I added. So you end up spinning the wheel, it'll choose your four product dimensions, give you the results, uh, you can choose what dur uh, like duration of project you want, whether it's a weekend project or a six month business. You can then click the generate button. And here are the results. You have product description, name, marketing ideas, uh, the tech stack. You can also click copy and then go to something like ChatGPT and get a build guide or start working on the project from there.